Welcome again. In this session, we are reading Luke chapter 20, verses 20 through 26. Shall we pay taxes? What a question. Let's find out what Jesus said. Verse 20, they watched him. This, now, these are the leaders of the people, the, the, um, the priests, the scribes, and the elders, the religious leaders, watched Jesus and sent out spies. And they're going out of their way to catch Jesus. They're going out of their way. They hate him so much. They sent out spies who pretended to be righteous that they might trap him in something he said, so as to deliver him up to the power and authority of the governor, you know, to rat him off. They're looking for something just to get on him. They're looking for something. They're looking for something just to accuse him of. They're looking for something that they're trying, that they can charge him with. They're looking for something they can just, you know, call the authorities on and say, hey, so-and-so, you know, Jesus did this. Jesus said that. Let's get him. Let's get him in trouble. Verse 21, they asked him, teacher, we know that you say and teach what is right and aren't partial to anyone. Hmm, isn't that interesting? These are the, his enemies, the spies that are not out for his good whatsoever. They're just trying to trick him. These spies are his enemies. This is more or less almost like the devil trying to tempt him, trying to catch him on something wrong. They call him rabbi, teacher. They're pretending to be respectful. You know, we know that you say and teach what is right. Be careful of those who flatter you. Be careful of those who always speak positive things about you. Usually when someone says positive things about you like this, you're up to no good. You know, if you're foolish, you'll fall right into their trap. But don't do that. You know, in, in fact, it's better to be around people who are not so nice to you. Okay? I've learned that. I've learned that the hard way. And Jesus know, knew that as well. It's better to be around people who are not so nice to you because they'll tell you the truth. What you need is the truth. You don't need some syrupy, sweet little, you know, malicious person in your life. Uh, you need someone who, who will tell you the truth. And uh, the people who tell you the truth actually care, care more for you and is actually in more in your best interest than anybody else. These are the people that say things to you that you don't necessarily like. <laughs> These are the people you can actually trust more. Okay? This is a good example. These, the enemies of Jesus came to him. The spies are trying to catch him on something. They're trying to get him, trying to do something to, you know, get him in trouble, trying to kill him, basically, trying to get him executed, trying to rat him off to the authorities, saying, teacher, rabbi, we know that what you say and, and teach is right, and, and you aren't partial to anyone. In other words, you don't play favorites. You're, you're so fair to everybody. It's just so fair. Let's read on. Again, they said, teacher, we know that you say and teach what is right and aren't partial to anyone, but truly teach the way of God. Oh, isn't this just beautiful the way they put it? They put it so beautiful. Again, watch out for people who talk so sweet to you. It's better to have someone in your life that can hit you over the head a few times and more. There's no saying they say, you know, you hold your, your friends close, but you hold your enemies even closer. What does that mean? That means, you know, sometimes your enemies can be more trustworthy than your friends. Sometimes your enemies can tell you the truth more than your friends will tell you the truth. Sometimes your enemies are more valuable than your friends. Wow. Verse 22. Is it lawful for us to pay taxes to Caesar or not? Oh, let me see. Here's the trap surrounded by the sweetness of the, all the flattery. Here's the trap. Is it lawful to, for us to pay taxes to Caesar or not? They're probably thinking, well, you know, Caesar is not the most godly person on the earth and neither is the government. They're not the most godly people and the most righteous people. Uh, you know, perhaps Jesus, hopefully Jesus would say, oh, no, don't pay taxes to them. They're wicked people. They're evil people. We're not, we're not going to pay taxes to them. We're not going to support them with our money. Let's see what Jesus said. Verse 23, 
But he, Jesus, perceived their craftiness. He knew that they were tricking him. And he said to them, why do you test me? Show me a denarius. Show me the coin. Whose image and inscription are on it? They said, Caesar's. He said to them, then give to Caesar the things that are Caesar's and to God the things that are God's. They weren't able to trap him in his words before the people. They marveled at his answer and were silent. As you go, may God give you wisdom like this in your daily activities, in your daily, you know, your daily affairs that you, you are doing. May God give you wisdom to answer your enemies in such a way that they will be silent. You will silence them. You will put them to shame. You will make them so that they are so confused or so amazed at the words that come out of your mouth that they can't answer you. May God give you that wisdom and bless you as you go. Keep him first and foremost in your life. Keep the scriptures first and foremost in your mind. Meditate upon them day and night. In the name of Yeshua. Amen.